Starting and running a business is hard, but you don't have to do it alone. Whether you're an established business owner or thinking about starting a side hustle to earn extra income, I am here to teach you how to show up as your unfiltered self, level up your business, and thrive as a mompreneur. Let's embrace the chaos and start enjoying the journey together. I'm Amy Tra, and you're listening to the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast. Welcome back into the Motivated Mompreneur Podcast episode 100. How is that even possible? Never in my wildest dreams would I have ever, ever dreamt that I would have a podcast. Like that, it's still mind blowing to me, but hey, it's just all about taking action, doing the thing you said you were going to do. Now, over the last 100 episodes, I have had some of the most incredible guests on the podcast. These guests can literally, they're they're showing you, they're handing you the tools to create successful, thriving businesses. I have had millionaires on this podcast. I have a multi six-figure earners, but the key is... You have to implement what you learn. I am no different than you. I want to be the proof to you that you can do it too. When you get super clear on what it is that you want, you're confident in yourself, overcoming those self-limiting beliefs, and then you're consistent. Because here's the thing, we live in a world where there is so much information. I think a lot of times we get stuck in information overload that we're just consuming, consuming, consuming. And because of fear, partly, we hold ourselves back and we don't implement what we learn. We think we're less than. So we just keep consuming course after course after course. Like, okay, if I get this certification, if I do that, then I'll do the thing. Stop. Just start today. You know, one of the biggest things that as a business owner, you have to keep in mind is that comparison will crush you. Really reframe that mindset to, you know what, if she is rocking it, if she can do it, so can I. Use that jealousy as fuel. And here's the thing you have to remember too. We've all started at ground zero. Over the past I think eight months I've had this podcast. I I don't even know, whatever it was last July, however many months that is. I have grown so much as a business owner. And I want to share some of my lessons that I have learned over that time with you because some pretty big things have happened that have led me here. And at the time, some of those decisions were really hard. There were a lot of challenges. It's not always rainbows and butterflies, but it's the path that led me exactly where I'm supposed to be. So my first big lesson learned was, you know what? Treat your business like a business. I cannot tell you how many times over and over I have clients come to me and they're frustrated. They're overwhelmed. They're just, they're questioning everything but they don't know their numbers. They treat their business like a side hustle. Being a mom and running a business is hard, but the thing is, is you have to keep in mind what season of life that you are in. If you are a mom with an infant, you cannot expect to run your business the same way as a mom that has high schoolers. It's not a fair comparison. You're going to have to use different strategies. Start treating your business like a business. It is possible. You just have to find the strategies that work for you. And for me, when I first started out, I was trying all the things. I was trying to be everywhere at once. But once I got super focused on what exactly I wanted my business to look like, That's where it all came together. I think one of the most powerful questions you can ask yourself is what does success look like to me? And once you know what it looks like to you, then you can reverse engineer literally 
any goal that you have, any goal out there is achievable. Once you know what success looks like to you. Now, the second biggest thing I learned is just take action, take messy action and do it scared because you are not going to wake up confident one day. I'm sorry. It does not happen. The confidence comes through the doing. It's just like any other skill in life you have to do to get better. So when I look back at when I first started the podcast, I mean, some of those episodes were a little cringy. Like we all have to start out as a beginner and being a beginner is such a beautiful place to be because when I first started out, I didn't have a huge audience, but I just kept taking that consistent action. The more and more I practiced, the easier and easier it became And I've really been able to hone in on what I want my podcast to look like, how I want it to look, what feels good for me. And part of that is knowing that I'm not going to be for everyone. And that's okay. I'm showing up as me, my authentic self. One of the things I will not do, I will not use a filter on social media because you know what? This is me flaws, wrinkles, gray hairs, crooked nose, and all. This is me. And once I truly got to a place where I can accept myself, flaws and all, it made life so much less heavy because now I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not. I show up like I am. I do my thing and the right people gravitate towards me. My next biggest lesson learned was having a mentor or a coach alongside you on the journey is so necessary. It's scary to invest in yourself. And part of me wonders if that fear was because now I know I'll be held accountable. But what having a coach does is it collapses time It helps you see those blind spots and work through the challenges of entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship is a roller coaster. I have had days where I am on top of the world one minute and at the bottom of the pits the next, and that's going to happen. But when I really learned to step back and detach from the outcome, that's where I started to thrive. You know, every day, I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to celebrate my clients. I am here to serve, not to sell. You know, when you genuinely come to your business from a place of service, how can I help you? That's where opportunities arise. That's where you build those quality relationships. And that being said, you know, community has been a huge, huge part of my success. Because here's the thing, success is not a limited commodity. There is no limit for how much success you can achieve. There is room for all of us. But again, you have to show up. You have to put in the work. You have to ask for help. And that's not always easy to do. But my community challenges me. They challenge me to think bigger. They show me what is possible. They help me achieve the things that I've dreamt about. And that right there, that is just the most powerful thing. And then likewise, I love helping the next woman succeed. The woman that I was a year ago three years ago, five years ago, showing her that it is possible. If you have a dream on your heart, go for it. Because at the end of the day, life is short. And, you know, it's funny as I have actually, this is my second time recording this episode because a few weeks ago, I got a phone call from the doctor's office saying, Hey, um, 
you had this surgery a couple years ago and we've been doing tests every year. So to give you a little backstory, um, I've dealt with cervical dysplasia for at least mm, 20 years plus. So every, it's, I think it was every other year, pretty much like clockwork. They go in, um, you know, get my annual pap and results would come back abnormal. And so they do a colposcopy, they do a biopsy, do a leap procedure. And it was like this whole cycle repeated over and over and over. So two years ago, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I can't keep doing this anymore. I have two beautiful children. I mentally am just exhausted because just going through that process is just draining. So, um, I had a total hysterectomy and then (laughs) they've kept doing paps, which I thought was kind of silly. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I don't even have a cervix. So what are you testing? You know, I know this is like a lot of information, but Hey, it's a reality. So I got the phone call couple weeks back that I never thought I'd have to get again. And they're like, you know what? We found some abnormal findings. Um, We're going to need to do a biopsy. So the day that this publishes, I am getting my biopsy. And there was only a 1% chance of recurrence of all of these issues following the hysterectomy because they took everything out. So it's like, well, where, what are you going to biopsy? And so many questions, but again, having this roadblock, I don't even know if roadblock's the right word, having this, this challenge arise, it's just affirmation of how short life is. Life is so freaking short. We're always waiting. We're waiting for one day. One day I'll retire. One day when the kids are older. One day this, one day that. Why aren't we living life today? It is so stinking short and it's not guaranteed. So if you are in a job that you hate, make the choice to make it, make a change. Stop waiting for one day. Live your life, live your life without regrets because you have the power to build the life that you want, but you have to be super clear on what does that look like for you. And then with consistency and implementation, overcoming those self-limiting beliefs, you can build that life of your dreams. Here's the thing though. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be scary as hell because your brain is going to put the emergency brake on and go, whoa, this is not familiar. I don't like this. I can't do this. But here's the thing. When you have the awareness that those thoughts are coming up, that's where you can make the choice to make the change. Life is short and nothing is guaranteed. So I am here cheering you on every single step of the way because I have been where you are. I have doubted myself. I have been overwhelmed. I have been frustrated. I have been right there with you. But I am here as proof that if you are not living the life that you want, make the choice to make a change. All right. Until next time, stop dreaming and start taking messy action. You've got this. Are you loving what you're hearing? Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. 